I'm Anil Kumar and now we have few examples on exponents and we have radical roots or rational exponents in this particular case. Evaluate each one of the following 64 to the power of 2 over 3, 27 to the power of minus 2 over 3, minus 8 over 125 to the power of 2 over 3. You can pause the video, answer the question. Now before we begin to answer this, I would like to uh, share with you uh, these powers right so when we say squares we have numbers like 64 27 8 125 here so let us uh, know what these numbers are and then we'll write down their answers to begin with let's look into the powers of 2 so we have 2 to the power of 3 is 8 right let me write 2 to the power of 3 is 8 64 could be written as 2 to the power of what let us say so 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, that is 2 to the power of 3, 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2 to the power of 6 is 64. This is one way of writing 64. The other way of writing 64 is we could combine these 2's, right? So we get 4 cubed. You see this is 4. So it is 4 times 4 times 4. Uh, so we could write this as 4 cubed as 64. Is it okay? Let us understand 125. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. So 125 is 5 cubed. We have a number 27 here, which is 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27, right? So that is 3 cube or 27, right? So these are the numbers we are working with. So whenever we do cube root, so cube root will be 3 cube, will we give you 3, right? So that I hope will help you to understand what we are trying to do, okay? Now let us begin to answer the question. First one, 64 to the power of 2 over 3, what does it mean? So it really means that we should first find the cube root of 64, that is the cube root of 64. Once we find cube root of 64, then we should square it. So if you follow these steps, you should easily get the right answer. Now cube root of 64 is what? We understand 4 cube is 64, so cube root of 64 should be 4, right? So we get here 4 and then square. 4 square, you understand, 4 times 4, which is 16. So the answer is 16. So that is how you should be solving. I hope you appreciate it. Next one. Minus. Minus makes it 1 over 27. So that is the first thing you should do. And rewrite without minus naught, 2 over 3. Second step here will be, as we did here, take care of the cube root. So what we have here is cube root of 1 over 27 and then all this is squared this is how you should be <coughs> looking at the question now what is cube root of 27 3 cube is 27 so cube root of 27 is 3 so we could write this as let me write here 1 over 3 right cube root and then square it square means 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 so we get 1 over 9 correct so that is how you have to work with the rational exponents. I hope that is understandable. So try to do the radical part first. That means the cube root or the square root or whatever. Now here I have taken all three examples with cube root so that the concept becomes clear. Now let's get to this one which is 8 over 125. So what should you do? First do the cube root, right? So we will do cube root of minus 8 over 125 and then whatever is there we will square that number so ultimately you're going to get positive number right because of the square okay cube root of minus 8 is for cube root of 8 is 2 for minus it will be minus 2 so we get minus 2 in the numerator and cube root of 125 is 5 do you see that now we have to square this number. Now it doesn't really matter whether you take negative with the numerator or with denominator, right? But at one place you have to put it. When you square, negative becomes positive. 
So we get a positive answer. 2 squared is 4 and 5 squared is 25. So that is your answer for the given question. So go through this video once again. Try to understand how should we work with rational exponents, right? And uh, try to remember these few simple cubes that will help you to solve such questions. Thank you and all the best.